Well, there is a big battle going on at the Indiana State House, and young children are caught up right in the middle of it. This is what's happening. The state is debating whether or not to expand the current pre-K pilot program. Today, mothers from all across Indiana made the trek to the State House downtown to voice their opinions. Our political reporter, Kevin Rader, is at the State House tonight. Kevin? Yeah, you guys, they were loud and determined here at the Indiana State House, and their voices echoed throughout this building for a reason. It's often called the People's House, but Wednesday, it really was. Hoosiers turned out in force from all across the state for their children. I had difficulties in school. The last thing I wanted for my children is to struggle. She wants what everyone wants, a better life for her children. So she put aside her fears and spoke out about the need for expansion of the state's pre-K program. Because I need this for my son, who is two. The lawmakers tell me, oh... We can't do that. It's too expensive. What would you say? Is it really that expensive to help our children? Children. I'd say, well, we'd like to do it in a piecemeal plan. Maybe do a little bit here, a little bit there. What about the other ones that got left behind? That's what I say. Shauna Wagner didn't have to travel so far. It's made a huge difference. She came from Broad Ripple, but she wanted others to know what the current pre-K program has already meant to her son. He's making friends. He is having um, relationships and conversations and things that just bro growing and blossoming in a way that he wasn't doing at home. Politicians also got their say. We have studies from Harvard. We have studies all over the place. We've studied this enough. We pledged to expand to more schools, more students, more counties, and that's precisely what we're going to do this year. But moms know best. It makes a huge difference. A thousand percent difference. <laughs> this is a budget session, and pre-K, any expansion of it would be one of the largest expenditures, along with infrastructure, no doubt. That will make this a very interesting session. Back to you guys.